Hello fellow duelists and collectors. Today I will be showcasing my Mechlord deck, which basically is not for competitive, but is more of just a, uh, well, a simple structure for what you could use as a Mechlord and ideas for portions you want within the deck. Um, you don't have to go by this uh, structure at all, but you could use the monsters sort of to gauge what you would need competitively. Um, first, two Mechlord Astro Mechanical, the powerhouse essentially of the deck, but not the strongest, well, not always the strongest. He gets in a tie with Grinnell, depending on the circumstance. And then there's only one Emperor Weissel. Um, I have more, but I think he's best at one, so I wouldn't recommend doing too many more. Um, oh, sorry, actually two. He was. He's a two. My bad. Just to clarify, two Weissel. <laughs> um, I think I switched them recently, but that's irrelevant. Um, two Skeel, because they're both good and they have decent effects, but their attack power isn't the greatest, so I keep them at two rather than three to avoid the clumping. Two uh, Army of Weissel, because it's got a good attack, but also it's... Not essential at three, that's for sure. Two Grinnell, army of Grinnell. Which, I, I think, again, with a three, you don't want the clogging. One uh, Blast Sphere, which is just kind of like a throw-in, but a decent machine substitute, which could be switched out for anything of your preference. Um, three army of Skeel. Out of the army monsters, I do think he has the best effect, which is why I would run him at three, or if you're being more competitive, just he would be at the higher number, so you'd probably use two of him and then one of each of the other, depending on how you, your preferences are. And then three, Grinnell, because he, in my opinion, is generally the best monster because of his effect. He can be very useful, and his attack can be very high if you summon him early game, which is why there's three, so you draw him sooner towards the beginning. And then three, um, I always butcher this name, Asterisk. Okay, yeah, it is Asterisk, okay. The first time I got it, I totally was like, <laughs> Asterisk, and that was silly. But yeah, he's, he's pretty good, honestly. I, I'm running him at three right now, more as a test, but I think he is good enough to be at three in general. Um, three, Boon of the Mechlord Emperor. It's, it's pretty good, and honestly, I would actually just recommend having um, whatever you feel is appropriate, but for now, you don't need three. I just sort of am doing this because I'm using mostly, almost all pure Mechlord engine and cards. So, uh, two Fortissimo, the mobile fortress. Two Resolute Mechlord army. Two Reboot. It, it's pretty good. I mean, uh, definitely not essential. Two Dark Hole, especially because their their effects work off monster destruction, so it's it's beneficial to you and counter or harmful to your opponent. One Mechlord Fortress. Lunar removal, it should be in every machine deck, so that should be pretty obvious as to why it's there. Three Chaos Infinity, definitely a good trap card to have for the Mechlords. Highly recommended. Three mech time blast. It's good. You don't need to run it at three, but it is also like a a less good version of dark hole for mech lords. And then two mech lord factory. And that is it for the mech lord deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, if you did, give me a like. And if you want to see more like this, subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoy the fun decks portion of my videos. Thank you.